the best centerman build in a game is the playmaker 6-1 160 gold elite edges is by far the best trait in the game it is needed in this as a center especially with a lot of quick transitions and speed being the main meta in the game as far as superstar traits i go with one defensive trait and one shooting trait shut down it's a pretty good all-around type trait you can substitute this with stick em up truculence however you see fit and close quarters i have used as my shooting trait you can substitute this for make it snappy i've seen that used by a lot of lg players but staying in front of the net a lot as a center with a lot of rotations things like that i'm typically shooting the puck very close to the net so close quarters is my go-to trait but you can substitute this for any shooting trait you want power skating and steady strides power skating is a must steady strides is optional you can change this for any other boost you want I've seen guys put on offensive awareness body checking defensive awareness it doesn't really matter which one you want to have applied but for me steady strides to get that 94 acceleration combining that with gold elite edges i think is important a lot of guys say acceleration doesn't matter in this game it may not but i think it does with the little animations that you get when you bounce off the boards pick up the puck and stride a lot of those animations are then combined with high agility and gold elite edges gives your player a boost with those certain animations as far as attributes there's a little bit of give to this you need to set your wrist shot accuracy to 80 to get a shooting straight so you sacrifice a little bit of your agility i think your slap shot accuracy doesn't really matter here balance i think is kind of whatever you can set this however you want and of course maxing out speed wrist shot power slap shot power i don't believe matters because we're not really shooting from far distance if you have a shooting trait applied i think it provides i think it bounces out perfectly to where you can still score goals if you have a problem scoring you can raise your wrist shot power and accuracy a little bit more so that you are scoring it's more of an experiment to you for me i don't have a problem scoring the rest of this is set how it is play style category there's a little bit more give to it based on what you want to have set high passing high offensive awareness i sacrificed the body checking so offensive awareness at 90 passing is high body checking takes a hit but i think shutdown applies what is missing to balance it out properly and then 80 stick checking and defense awareness as a center isn't too bad it's pretty solid we're gonna be mainly covering the slot so i think that is set pretty good the rest of this is set as is 90 face off i think it's a must for a center so make sure that's at 90 discipline you're obviously gonna have to take a hit because of face off so be very critical with how you poke check how you hit because your discipline isn't that high now let's get to a game and showcase the build. So I'm using the Playmaker build. I switched out Shutdown with Tape to Tape. Also switched out Steady Strides, which is the plus two itself for charged hits. We're gonna have 80. They dump it out and now we stay to the middle, right? We allow our defenseman to kind of quarterback it. Looking for the cut, there it is. I gain it back. I'm gonna try to find him though, not quite. I was able to find somebody else. Now we anchor ourselves to the middle again. There's the pass, the shot. I did a shot at right. My bad. I had that one. I missed the play there on the face off. It goes with just aiming it. So again, we maintain middle and we find a cut. So I'm going to cut. I got to find a better lane there. But overall, there, got it. And hit there too. We're going back on the power play. It was very easy to get inter interference calls and sixes. It, there's a lot of cross checks. You know, you don't really see that too much in threes because there's less players. But you, you can still see from time to time, especially in this area. That right there. I mean, I guess, right? It's just weird. Like, these weird animations is literally what it is. Got to go stick with. Missed it. Going to dump it down. So usually on the face off, you just kind of have to, like, kind of try to know what your opponent's going to do. There's counters to each grip, to each uh, type of face-off win. So there's things that you got to do there. I'm going to turn with it and find them. Looking for the jam play in front. Didn't quite get it. Don't maintain the middle. I mean, it, that, it's kind of all we are here right now. Just, right, find the cut. Now we're looking for the one T. There it is. Shot score. When you have a gold one T opportunity, right? I mean, especially with the wingers, right? It's essentially a very 
it just increases your chances of scoring because that shot, even though I don't even think it was a, a 1T shot, he picked it up then shot it, but still. You have a 1T look, it's deadly, right? Especially as a center, you have tape to tape or something like that. You can find them as soon as you get into the zone. They could be early, it could be later. It could be all kinds of things, right? But that's what you kind of want to do when you're a center in the middle, right? Having a shooting trait's nice and all, but sometimes even just having a passing trait just to ensure those passes go through because you will be passing, right? Be trying to find your wingers for one tees, right? Tape to tape allows you to kind of get those passes through more accurately, uh, more on target, right? Interception there. We're playing trap D. Now we quickly send it up. I'm playing back for him. Now I'm going to cut towards the middle, right? Now we work ourselves back. You, you kind of just want to play this around, right? Keep a triangle. You have a guy that opens up, so I'm going to send it back. There it is. Going to be an option here down low. There's the shot. So me and Blue kind of made a switch. So he was basically playing middle while I played his spot temporarily. And now we kind of work our way back to our original spot. So we have four checkers. We'll be clogging the middle. This is my guy here. He might try to get that puck. There's a good poke check teal. And we maintain middle. Maintaining the slot. The slot. There's the pass. And nice. So now we're clogging it up. Now we quickly dart. And we turn back. Cover middle yet again. Offside. Quick here with a... Could have done anything else, really. Some, game, some, some games are better in terms of the face-off. I'm not always the best with that. So don't uh, look for me to give out center freaking tips for that. But there's the quick pla pass on the transition. Score. 4-2. All right, there. It's a broken play. Scramble. You find the guy that's open driving, right? Wingers are heavily offensive, um, offensive-minded, right? When you're playing center, especially with this build, you want to play more defensive, be like the third forward that's in. So we cover middle, middle, trying to hit him off the puck. Cannot. There's the shot. There's a save. Nothing much there. I don't even know what happened there. That guy just did a stutter step with it. Pressure to be middle. There's a shot. Try to beat him with speed. I'm around. Shot on the short side. Try to get something there. There it is. I was able to get a stick on it and then body checked. Lost possession of the puck, and it goes in the wrong net. That's a nutshell 24 defense for you in a nutshell. It's great defensive play. He gets knocked off the puck. The puck goes. It's magnetized to the back of the net. I don't even understand it. I don't even think there's anything Teal could have done there. I mean, he, all, he, all, all his guy's doing is picking up the puck, and it goes in because he got hit. It's like, all right, whatever. But those are the kind of stuff you just don't even care about, and you, you play on. 4-3. You want to play trap. Trap D. Make it tough for your opponents to get into your zone. Just kind of play like that. I'm going to go with a tie here. Swaggy come in. Arrow, you can shriek upwards. Try to get it there. Not quite. Play middle. So now we're just going to cover middle. Look for any middle play. There it is. So we start. And now we're driving. We're driving. We're driving. Find a pass. Score. So take the space that's there. They left the middle wide open. All I had to do was beat one defender. I cut to the outside. Try to hold on to the puck as, as much as I can to find someone driving. Found the pass and there it was. That was actually a good job by the defenseman to keep me to the outside. The only option I had was to make a pass. Um, and fortunately his teammates, right, were not able to cover that. So it was a good pass. And a good tuck in. Now they're going to be pouring on the pressure. Again, we want to help out. We want to help out our defenseman. Just cover middle. Give him a lane. Right? They have an easy pass to me if they wanted to make that short pass out to alleviate some pressure. Now I'm playing down low. Looking for the cut score. Actually, that found its way to green, but that's still 
still works, right? A lot of give and goes you can do in the offensive zone. Be very, uh, you know, allow yourself to kind of buy some time a little bit. Pass down low for cut play. Whole team, though, is thinking offense. They, they thought they had that puck, and they didn't. And uh, we were able to find an easy talk. So 6-2, 22 seconds left. This game's over. So you just play lockdown deep. But again, you know, just anchoring the middle. Rotate if you need to. If a defenseman does step up, you have the capabilities of rotating behind very quickly without, uh, you know, missing a step, being a little bit too slow. Uh, you have 94 speed with this build, quickness, the transition. So there's a lot of different things you have with this build. And I think uh, overall, it's a really solid sentiment build. It's highly used in LG for a reason, but that's also because everybody's using elite edges. You kind of have to match them in that case. Um, you can go with a bigger size build if you want. Just understand that the drop off in speed, although it may not be really that that bad, um, it will allow you to hold on to the puck. So you could go with a 180 type build with a 92 speed. You know, you're still, you know, fast. You're still big. You still got elite edges, or you, you weigh more, right? Is uh, so you have more mass to yourself, and uh, it'll make it tougher for other guys to hit you. Might want to apply some points back into balance for that kind of stuff. Not sure if strength goes under that too. But it's all preference if you don't want to have, you know, a, a way a feather of 160. But it is very fast. So it's got the perks of that. A lot of quickness in and out rotation. So you could do a lot with the sentiment build. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of it. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll catch you guys next time.